All right, what a year it has been for crypto in a not so good way. Bitcoin and Ethereum both down over 65% year to date with little help from the likes of FTX's Sam Bankman Freed. While crypto based companies such as Robinhood and Coinbase find themselves down big as well on the year, even the crypto bulls had a rough year. Michael Sellers, Michael Strategy has continued to buy Bitcoin despite the turmoil. Company uh, shares are down about 70% on the year. And lost in all this FTX stuff, Brad, is that we started this year, uh, and I'm on Yahoo Finance on our pay crypto page right now. Bitcoin started at the year $47,000, let's just say, a little over that. It's been, it's now at a little over $16,000. Bitcoin has not moved anywhere really since the middle of June. Uh, and you have to think, well, what gets that price action moving back up again? And to me, it's wildly unclear. It is, and you would need to see a lot more certainty enter into the equation. Where that certainty comes from, it could be a range of areas. I think the most noted would be any type of regulation that moves forward from here. And there's a larger question of if the regulatory framework that has been drafted even to this point from the Gillibrand Lomas bill, if that will even still be used because of the fact that you did have the fingerprints of Sam Bankman Freed within that and baking in some of his own thoughts and expectations. And anytime you do have someone who is as much a, a staple or at least a figurehead or was a figurehead within crypto for as long as Sam Bankman Fried had been for some of the noted bailouts at the time that he was moving forward with for some of the either crypto companies uh, like a BlockFi or some of the trading platforms and just trying to buy stake to sure up their stock and equity price. All of that considered, it's going to show that there is not one singular person that should be the overseer of how well or how badly crypto does. If anything, it's really the consortium of different efforts that need to win out at the end of the day. And I think that's what end users or owners and custodians of their own crypto that's what they're looking for some type of confidence in and that they can have custody, that they ha don't have to be vulnerable to either hacks on certain platforms where they have no ability to kind of safeguard against those own hacks outside of just putting it in cold storage. And utilization is another measure. So regulation, utilization, those are two things. But then additionally, uh, we just need to see more good actors in crypto right now, quite frankly. Um, and I think that's where they're can be a little bit of the movement forward, but I don't think that comes until after we see some swift regulatory, not swift at this point, but after we see some concerted regulatory action. Yeah, and this was supposed to be the year, Brad, where all the institutions were going to get into crypto and everybody's yeah, yeah. going to be crypto trading, BlackRock like maybe. Super Bowl ads. Right, uh, Super Bowl ads. You had uh, a really good article by uh, over in Barron's, I believe it hit uh, earlier this morning, looking at Fidelity's efforts. Uh, middle of this year, I believe they hired a bunch of folks to lead their crypto efforts. Where are they now? You don't hear anybody talking about it. And at least that article in Barron's, I think, downplaying uh, what Fidelity may or may not do moving forward in crypto. But again, you're not really seeing the institutional space make a big push in here, and rightfully so. Just lastly on this, I'll add, because in this crypto winter, there's been a major crackage of the ice, if you will, and there have been a few things to fall deeply into the depths of whatever that frozen ocean may look like. And it really is a few things. Algorithmic stable coins, I, th I think the trust in those has absolutely eroded, number one. Number so don't two, don't buy Bradcoin. Uh, do not buy Bradcoin, okay. do not buy Bitcoin, do not buy, okay. I, I, look, I mean, not recommendations, of course, but... Uh, <laughs> there is the no Brad, Brad coin. Please, don't go on our site, yeah. search for Brad coin. There, there was there's, a slap coin, though, for after Will Smith slapped... Uh, oh. Yeah, anyway, um, neither here nor there. But in this other ice crack here, it's the NFTs. It's the non-fungible tokens. And there is a way forward for the technology to exist, but it's just a matter of how we're ascribing or uh, attributing value to so many of the things that have been tokenized as well. So uh, I don't expect to buy a squiggly line for $75 million <laughs> in the future, but... Uh, we'll, Maybe we'll for see. $20 million. Right? <laughs> you know, it's going to come it's down. <laughs>